Are you looking for a fast and easy way to watermark your documents? Well in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add watermarks to your Google Docs. Hey guys welcome back to Google Tutorials where we give you the best tips, tricks and tools to help grow your confidence online. So if you're new here please consider subscribing. In a previous video we showed you how to add watermarks in your Google Docs but at the time there wasn't a direct way of doing it within your documents. But Google recently added a new feature which enables you to do this within your documents. For those of you who don't know what watermarks are, they are incredibly useful to give attributes to copyright holders, to mark draft documents, or so that people don't steal your work and resource when posting on the internet. Now to do this what you want to do is head up to the top navigation bar of your document and click on insert. From here we need to head on all the way down to where it says watermark. From here it will open up this tab on the right hand side of your document and it will give you two different watermarking options. You can either add a watermark image or you can add text watermark. Let's start off with an image. You need to start off by uploading your image of your watermark by clicking this large select image button here. And you can choose from photos in your Google Drive, Google Photos, Google Images, or you can upload your own. I'm going to use this Google Tutorials watermark I've created. And now, as you can see, this image has been turned into a watermark on my document. And if you want to choose a different image, all you need to do is click on the blue pen icon at the bottom right here. Following this you have the ability to scroll down in this tab and adjust a few things with this image such, such as the size and scaling of the image and you can also adjust whether the image itself is faded or not. However I'd recommend keeping this on. And then once you're happy with your watermark all you need to do is click the blue done button at the bottom right of this tab. And if you want to remove the watermark, all you need to do is click the remove watermark button at the bottom. But what if you don't have a logo or image to use as a watermark? Well, you can now use text as a watermark. Simply head on over to the text part of this tab and input your text. From here, you can customize how it looks. For example, you can change the fonts that you use. The size of the text can be adjusted here too, as well as other formatting options such as making it bold, italics, as well as changing the text colour too. Following on from this, you can adjust the transparency of this text, and since it's a watermark, I'd highly recommend keeping it at around 70 to 75% opacity. And finally, you can choose if the text goes diagonal or horizontal on your document. And then once you're happy with all of this, you can click the blue done button at the bottom right of this tab. 